All right, we're back. I have once again lots of requests for this lady, and I hope that you guys are tuning in for the knowledge we're providing, not for any other reasons, but great to have Marissa back on. Thank you, Thank you so much. She's in town for another day, and based on the feedback of yesterday's video about combining clean, clean eating with flexible eating, I wanted to dive further into it. So we have a non-flexible eater. eater, but also a very clean eater. For how long now? Oh, years. Well, years is an understatement. I think my entire life, I mean, I was brought up this way. You know, before this was the thing to do, my mother always cooked and was at the store every day and we didn't eat out that much. So I kind of, it's just like been a way of life for me. And she says years and you say her whole life and you might think, oh, she's 20, 24, 40. 38. 38, <laughs> 38 years enough. old, soon to be 39. Yes. Mother. Sure. So a person came out of her body. And, and I had a C-section. And she had a C-section. <laughs> so clearly, like we've said yesterday, clean eating is working. But I think for a lot of people that you flexible eaters, if you're a flexible eater, will we'll deal with there are people like Marissa who don't get it. And a lot of programs out there are just eat garbage and flexible eating is not an excuse to eat garbage, but let's dive further into the mindset of a clean eater. Here we go. Here we go. So let's try this is going to be deep and then we're going to really get to know you well. So okay. what, is, what does clean eating mean to you? So when you eat and you know, we went out to eat twice, right? So since you've been here, what does that mean to you when you when you think about clean eating and, and eating in general? Um, for me, clean eating at home is different than clean eating in a restaurant. Clean eating, eating means going to the grocery store, getting everything fresh. Um, she likes to throw the word organic out yes, there. Yes, I'm a big believer in organic. Um, what you, what's that saying that I, I always mess up these things. You are what you eat. You are what you eat. Okay. I, I really believe that. I believe if you eat clean, you're going to feel good, um, your skin's gonna look good, you know, it comes from the inside out, I think. So cleaning to me is cooking, shopping, meal prepping, it's just a way of life. But when I go out to eat, I try to pick something that's healthy. Like last night we went out for Mexican, I had a salad and fish. With, with no dressing. Yes, but I, I'm also a person that likes to eat and taste the vegetables. I like, I don't like a lot of heavy sauces or butters. Or so do you like the taste of vegetables? Yes. You enjoy the taste of Lettuce. Yes, I think it's good. I don't like butter, cream, sauces. I really? Know. You didn't know that? I, <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's just, you've trained your taste buds. Right, but I was also raised like that. As a child, my mother didn't cook like that. I think had I been brought up that way, I would have been accustomed to it. But my mother cooked like that as well. Okay. Jewish moms. So, you enjoyed, so let's, let's give everybody a snapshot of what you ate yesterday. So not, not for the day. When oh, you, so we're out to right. eat, and I'll give you what I ate. It's a Mexican place, but it was like a, what did you call it? A nouveau Mexican N place. Nouveau, artisan Mexican place. And I am a Spanish teacher. <laughs> she was trying to act like awful <laughs> ordering. So I had, what did I have? Steak? Steak. Over rice with some sort of spicy thing on top. It's, it was probably cilantro. Okay, it was cilantro. Let's say it was. So it was relatively clean. Yeah, I mean... Um, but then you had, I mean, you ate the most. I eat a lot. So you had a salad, yeah. but you said no dressing on it. Yeah, but you, it had avocado and hickama and... Hickama? Yeah. What's so that? That's like lettuce. What was that white stuff on top? That was hearts of palm. Hearts of palm. And then you had, what'd you order? Group sna snapper? Snapper. Uh, probably sauteed with it had like a little bit of carrots on the side, but it came with rice. I didn't, I asked for double vegetables instead of the rice because I don't like to eat a lot of carbs. So, okay, stop there. Ooh. <laughs> so, not eating a lot of carbs. <laughs> Talk to me about that. What does that mean? I just don't like f to eat like things made with a lot of flour, especially white flour. But rice, rice isn't made of flour. I know, but I personally, I don't think it's full of a lot of nutrients. So, I try to eat things that are nutrient dense. I could, I could. Like, I don't eat a lot of pasta because to me, I could be wrong, I'm not a nutritionist. But pasta just has a lot of B vitamins in it. It doesn't have calcium. It doesn't have protein. It doesn't have all some other good stuff that so you need. So when you're talking clean eating and when you're talking about eating healthy, are you you're referring to nutritious foods? Right. Yes. Well put. So you're not 
a I fan like of rice or pasta, not is it because of their carbs or because they're not nutritious? I think a little bit of both, but mainly because they're not nutritious. Like I'll eat oatmeal, quinoa. But what's an oatmeal quinoa. that's different than rice? Um, B vitamins. I don't you know. Just said I, I, I don't really know. I have to look at the nutrition label, but I know it's supposed to be good for you and better than pasta. So or, this so is a big. Like, this is a, okay, but this is a big thing that goes on in the world. Because what did you just say? Do you know what you just said? So I've been trained. Well, you've been trained, and you said <laughs> supposed to be good for you, right? Right, and you've said that about organic foods. So I think this is what happens too. This is a great example of misinformation that's out there. Not that I'm telling her what she's saying is right or wrong, but for people like Marissa and other people in the world, they're just and at least what Marissa is doing is is taking it to a, a good place where you get people that are like, hey. Well, the government says we need this carbs and we don't need a lot of protein and fat is bad for you. So with flexible eating, we're trying to unlearn all this misinformation. Not that what you're saying right, is bad, right, right, but right. we've just, it's what you've been taught. Right. I mean, clearly I have some things to learn. You bring it but everybody you does. Can teach, she can teach us as well. Right. So you, you had that. So when, when you eat something that's not nutritious, some cake. Okay. And and what's cool about it. Marissa is she does. You've had you eat cake. You'll have pizza every so often. Yeah. When I want something, I'll eat it. You know, two slices of pizza. Am I gonna eat a whole pie? No. But who? I'm not the type of person. Who? We would say who can? <laughs> who does? <laughs> um. So how do you feel when you do that? Um. I feel fine. The next day, I'm like, all right. I had two slices of pizza last night, so I'm gonna balance it out. How so? I'll eat really extra healthy the next day. I probably wouldn't have dessert the next day. But I'm a very disciplined eater. I'm a very disciplined person. And it, it, it Meaning it, what? Meaning once I put my mind to something, I'm gonna do it. But do what? Well, like stick to my goal. Like if I had pizza. Like What's your goal? What's your goal when it comes to clean eating? My goal is to stay like this the rest of my life. <laughs> okay, all right, so your goal. Right, come on. So you eat clean I eat simply clean. to look better no. naked. That's, that's one of the reasons. One of the reasons, what are the other reasons? Um. It makes me feel good. I think that if you eat healthy and you eat clean, you're going to feel good about who you are, what you look like. I also have a seven-year-old son. I want to be a good example for him. I want him to see me eating good foods and being healthy and being strong and being fit. Um, that plays a part. I'm a teacher. I want When I stand up in front of my classroom, the children I teach are in sixth grade. I want to be a good role model for them. And even though I'm a Spanish teacher, they see me snacking all day long because I teach throughout the day. And I'm always snacking on healthy foods. And I, and I want them to see that. Are you implying that I'm a bad role model? I'm not at all. I think you might have somewhere in there <laughs> said that. I think you're a wonderful guy. But so, uh, so if someone like myself is eating Pop-Tarts in front of children, so well, say, say your seven-year-old is here, right. and he sees Jay eating a drumstick. What does that do to a child versus them seeing someone eating healthy? Well, he's going to see you, and a child can't say, Mmm, you know, he's going to see you eating a drumstick and think, Gee, I can eat a drumstick and look like that, too. But what if I said, Hey, you can. I couldn't argue. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, and, and I think that's one of the beauties of, of nutrition and and fitness is there is no perfect answer, right? There's no right or wrong. One thing that we talked about yesterday that a lot of people really appreciated is, hey, there's a balance here of what Marissa is doing and what we're doing, you know. And I, and I tell people all the time, to hit your numbers, to hit your protein, your carbs, and your fat, you have to eat some good foods because, you know, I came home from that restaurant last night needing more protein, and I didn't get that protein through drumsticks or pop tarts. What did I eat? Do you know? Did uh, you see? Uh, you ate a di uh, after dinner when we got home. Mm -hmm. uh, you ate a pop tart. Two pop tarts. Two pop tarts. But I had some turkey. Oh, I, I missed that part. I had some turkey before. The only good part I missed. And so you know, so it's a matter of you, no, you no. having that balance, and, and you know, I tell people flexible eating is not an excuse to be an asshole. But you, be, you can be an asshole for other reasons, but not because of what you're choosing to eat. Eat some good quality foods, and certainly something I'm learning is. While Marissa has been here, eating those good foods make you feel good. Yeah. Keep you regular, that's for sure. <laughs> and I, I think it's important. It is. It so, is. anything else you wanted to say? It's all of, I mean, you got, you got some newfound fans out there. Anything you want to say to them about flexible eating or about eating clean? I think everybody should try it and you'll eventually find what works for you. You'll learn how to hit your numbers and it'll just become a way of life. 
and you'll look good, you'll feel good, and you'll be a good example for who's ever around you. I love it. I love it. Thanks again. Thank we'll you so much. We're shaking hands. <laughs> Thanks for being on. Marissa, Anytime. everybody. Hopefully I'll be back. And uh, good luck, America.